new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you police in washington dc have released dozens of photos of president trump supporters who stormed the u.s capitol on wednesday causing widespread damage and sending the nation's capital into a lockdown the dc metropolitan police department posted the photos online late thursday with images that included a male identified as jake angel who's a part of a conspiracy theorist right wing group quote we still have a significant amount of work ahead of us to identify and hold each and every one of the violent mobs accountable for their actions we have collected numerous images of persons of interest that we are asking the community to help us identify these images depict individuals engaging in various acts of violence or property destruction Conti said that 68 people have been arrested, only one of them from D.C. He said that the photos were shared with the FBI in local hotels and airports with law enforcement patrolling both. Police said that the pictured protesters are sought for unlawful entry and some for crimes for busting into the historic building. The pics show riders inside the Capitol Rotunda where several are seen taking selfies and others on the floor of the house and the senate after breaching both chambers another image showing a woman speaking through a bullhorn while others show a fur clad protester holding a discarded dc police shield a woman is also seen outside of the capitol holding part of the nameplate of the house speaker nancy pelosi's office which was ransacked in the raid the assault on the building turned deadly when a capitol police officer shot and killed one demonstrator police said three other people died from medical injuries and a capitol police officer died in the hospital thursday after being hit in the head with a fire extinguisher during the riots so just look at this title officer brian sicknick 42 was reportedly struck in the head during wednesday's riot while four trump supporters also died right now i've heard of a multitude of cops that were injured during this riot i wonder how many of those same people are backing the blue right they support the cops now it's funny that a lot of these people always tell black people that yo you guys need to follow the rules and obey the the whatever a law enforcement you know agent or officer states and when you do that everything will go you know your way just you know follow the rules right but whenever i happen to see true americans getting into let's call it a tussle right with cops i always see them resisting right i always see them going against the grain because whenever they feel that their liberties or different things of that nature are being stolen or taken away or their voices are not being heard it's okay and it's right for them to do it right it's all right for them to speak out to protest to cause a ruckus and everything like that and then the media will get on the bandwagon and they'll just say like oh it's a few bad apples right it's not everybody doing it right it's an isolated incident right it's not a common occurrence right it's a fringe group right it's not a representation of the whole of america because we're better than this this is just a few bad actors do you see how they continuously give excuse on excuse on excuse on excuse on excuse on excuse when you decide to do that and you don't take responsibility for what it is that is transpiring you are enabling so the media for the stint that trump has been in office have been enabling a lot of true americans themselves right to do what it is that they want to do because also know a lot of the people who are in media they might seem like they disagree but they also embolden 
you know a lot of those people they also use coded language to let them know it's okay i can't sit up there and say that i agree with it but i'm letting you know in this certain type of angle and way that i'm putting light on this story that i'm there with you in spirit and that we here at this such and such company agree with what it is that you are doing see this is what it looks like to be a quote-unquote american right where you have the media that is reflective of you where you have police that are reflective of you where you have laws that are reflective of you we have judges and juries that are reflective of you right everything is reflective of you which means it is at the end of the day for you and it is for your benefit while at the same time it is for you and against everybody else who is not reflective or looks like you or believes in your views that's what this is so am i going to sit up there and say color me surprised no am i going to sit up there and say that i'm shocked that this is taking place no because a lot of these bad actors this is generational behavior this is savagery behavior this is thuggery behavior this is criminal behavior this is illegal behavior but at the end of the day this is american behavior and that's what a lot of people forget and don't understand this is why i always say that reading is fundamental take some time out and look at some documentaries and different things of that nature because regardless of how much information they want to hide they also put a lot of their truth out there because they feel that it's respectable or some some a very few percentage amongst them feel that this information needs to put be put out there because they understand themselves right and within themselves they understand how much of a danger they are to everybody else and what we were able to see at the capitol can clearly show you how much of a danger they are to everybody else when they decide that they are not getting their voices heard when they feel that things are being freedoms are being stripped away or their country is being taken away from them but note these are the same exact people who feel that the country is being taken away from them that's how their ancestors got here they landed here and they just took it don't even matter who it was it could have been a baby could have been a five-year-old could have been a teenager could have been a mother in a village could have been a elder or a father they took it all and they ran with it and they modernized america and made it to what it is right now so that they can benefit themselves and any other descendants who want to come from exactly where it is that they came from but anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I stated in the comment section below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.